What's up, everybody? It's the Rogue in Disguise, North American Community Contributor for World of Warship Splits. And if this is your first time here or been here for a while, well, make sure you hit that like button, you hit that subscribe, and you turn that bell to all to catch all that we do for World of Warship Splits. Oh, but yes. And today, we're going to be talking about the Pan Asian Cruisers. Oh, but yes. And today, we're going to kind of do a slight full review on pretty much all of them and, and to make life simple on it the guns range anywhere from 152 millimeter main guns at tier 5 and the funny thing is is that the higher tier you get the lower the gun scale so it starts off with 152 right pretty big guns 6 second reload time pretty nice when you get into tier 6 and 7, they drop down to 127s. Except when you go into tier 8, it jumps up to 130. Not too bad. When you jump into tier 9 and 10, they drop back down to 127 millimeter main guns. But the reload time, it gets a little bit faster. Five and a half seconds for 130. Tier 8, tier 9, 127 at 4.61 after modification. And then we got ours down to 3.23 second reload time at tier 10, which isn't too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Cool little thing about these boats is they all come with deep water torpedoes. And they're pretty quick at tier 9s and 10, almost 70 knots. But they're all deep water torpedoes. We know that because that's what they are. Through tiers 5 through 10. Not too bad. The anti-aircraft armament is actually pretty darn amazing. Especially when you get up to tier 10 and it has that air defense alert 4. Oh, but yes. Got fuel smoke too. And torpedo reload along with the deep water torpedoes. Upgrades are pretty good, standardized. You got AA specialization if you want to really hone in for that. AA defense, elite gun operator. In case you want to make that reload faster for your main guns. And that's what I kind of opted for was elite gun operator. Merit of service? Well, I wouldn't advise it. Unless you're trying to get XP grind and pay for it and convert it. If that's your thing. Camouflages are pretty mm, all right, not too bad. Battle honors, you get actually quite a few of them, actually, for the tech tree line, which is not bad, which is also kind of weird considering all the battle honors that we get for premium ships is only like two or three. Kind of weird. That was just for an example for the dolphin. You know, it's only got two battle honors. But overall, the Dolan's pretty nice for a Pan Asian cruiser. And then, you know, of course, naturally, for the regular tier tech tree, ships are actually pretty good too with their deep water torpedoes. They're fun to play with. You have to play them like kind of like an Atlanta. They're very soft as far as the armor is concerned. But other than that, you know, you play the deep water torpedoes at tier 10, they're, they're actually pretty nice. They do a sufficient amount of damage. However, you can't really battle DDs too much, but the reload time at tier 10 is just actually pretty nice, and you can do quite a bit of damage on them pretty quickly, actually. As far as eating airplanes, oh, 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 oh yes. It chews planes up real nice. I think it's pretty competitive to the rooster even, as far as like anti-aircraft armament. And it plays, and it feels like a, like a tier 10 on Atlanta or Austin with AG, though Austin has, has AP rounds. I think this is a fun boat. I think the whole line is actually kind of fun. Tier 9 is also kind of laggy, I have to admit, but it got to be fun after a little bit. Pretty good amount of guns. Reload time, you know, of course, naturally struggled a little bit right there. As far as the tier seven, or excuse me, the tier eight, uh, well, I didn't play that one too much, but it, 
the one or two times I did play it felt kind of fine. The champagne, pretty much the same playing, same thing. I just kind of did it played in Jane and played it as is. And well, I just picked this one up today and I'll, well, it's tier five. Can't expect a whole lot out of it. Good training boat for sure. And I think it's a good entry point to come in for this tech tree. It's tier five. I think it's a good addition. They're fun. An option. They're good in support, you know. Very, very good support ships, I think. Especially with their anti-aircraft armament. They're quick really loading 127 millimeter to 152 millimeter main guns from tier five, getting up to tier 10, which makes them 127. I don't know how that works. But whatever the case may be is whatever they, they decided to do. It's probably for a reason for that. I think it works. Put your comment down in the uh, comment box below. Tell me what you guys think of this review, how they play out. We played them on our live stream not too long ago, and, and honestly, I, I had a lot of fun with it. If you were there for it, awesome. Well, until the next video, guys, don't make... We'll make uh, well, let me try that again. Until the next video, guys, make sure you hit the like button, yeah, hit that bell, and turn that notification to all to catch all that we do for World of Warship Split. So, but yes. Until the next time, guys, have fun and be well. And have a good day. Oh, but yes.